Innovation is about creating something new and of value to the world. When we say something new in terms of healthcare, what is in my mind is the well-being of people. Our whole nation has pumped in a lot of resources, money, expertise and time into scientific research. So, it is timely that NUHS as an AMC cluster comes together to look at how to exploit such knowledge to create real innovation and value to the community. The SPIN program will encompass the best clinician innovators that aim to produce adoptable solutions that will make an impact to the delivery of healthcare. Actually, the motivation for this program is that if you look at um, traditionally, ophthalmology is a tertiary practice, so patients do come to see us in the tertiary centre. If you have an eye problem, you have nowhere to go except to see a specialist. Now, how, the question over here is how do we then bring ophthalmology into the community? Over here right now, each doctor, for example, can only treat a certain number of patients a day. But if you could now have devices that can then reach outside and expand uh, our influence, expand this accessibility to eye care, then you can potentially treat more patients. I think the first device that we're very keen to particularly replicate will be some form of visual field testing. Patients with chronic eye disease need their visual fields tested for life, maybe three times a year, and that adds up to a very large number of patients. And so if we can just get this thing done, let's say in their GP clinic, or perhaps in the future even in their home, and have all the data sent to us in some way, then this is going to be a very nice flow for patient care. The way I think about innovation in, in a medical centre context is that it is a necessary condition for saving lives. If you are called upon uh, to do more with less from a resource standpoint, uh, to leverage uh, existing technologies or know-how, then innovation is a necessary component of that process. My personal view of SPIN is that it gives investigators, clinicians, you know, both academics as well as practitioners in the healthcare system, permission to innovate, permission to colour outside the box, so to speak. Ideas in the lab and ideas on a one-to-one -one patient setting can only go so far. You have to commercialise them, you have to scale them up if they're actually going to do any good. This program is in additive manufacturing in biomedical applications. It brings a very new and exciting area of additive manufacturing, which is 3D printing, into the medical arena. And we're looking at applications across the board, from new technologies and new techniques, to new implants, as well as educational opportunities. This is a program that involves not just one department, but is multidisciplinary in nature. Because of this, we will be able to encompass a whole range of different specialties, as well as trainees who are developing in those areas of training. For 3D printing or for AM, the best thing is the people, they are able to see and practice and use it. So we are able to really use this platform, allow the surgeon, allow other type of people who can work together and then to do evaluation to see the outcome together and then to use in the real life type of scenario. A very exciting area that we are working on right now is in bioprinting that is using additive manufacturing to create new and novel structures that can be applied within the body itself. Additive manufacturing has specific advantages because we can have customised implants for patients and also the structure of the implants can become much more like what was the natural bodily part. This area of development has the potential to lead to the ultimate holy grail of printing living tissues and organs. We believe that a structured program will help create tremendous uh, experiential learning opportunities for aspiring innovators not to be afraid and to push forward to explore new ideas and at the same time be mentored by experienced established innovators. Because innovation is after all not just about invention but a change in mindset and action towards value creation.